We're back with another weekly newscast here for DHS. I'm Tanner and starting off this week we have a handful of congratulations to pass along. Starting us off, prom was held Saturday night and it was standing room only in the gym for Grand March. At the end of the ceremony, this year's King and Queen were announced. Congrats to Austin LaRue and Sarah Moore. If you'd like to see the full video of Grand March, check out our YouTube page. The next shout out goes to the winner of this year's Billy Eights Hearts for the Arts competition. Freshman Jalen Dutton was picked out of Billy and his panel of judges. She performed Oceans by Hillsong United as a part of her entry. Jalen will get to perform with Billy and his Nashville friends at a concert, which will be held at the high school gym during Memorial Day weekend. Lexi and Allie Masters were also named as the two runner-ups in the competition. Next, the choir earned a big honor this past weekend. They performed in Popper Bluff on Saturday and earned a State 1 rating in the Advanced Women and Advanced Mixed Choir Ensemble. And the final shout-out goes to this month's Student of the Month for high school. They are freshman Kirsten March, sophomore Hannah Ponder, junior Jaclyn Friend, and senior Alexis Irwin. We're less than three weeks away from the ACT test for all juniors, and Maddie is back with some more time-saving tips for you this week. Thanks. We've been talking a lot about trying to save time on the ACT test because the time limits end up hurting a lot of students. To avoid losing points, you'll need to learn to skip questions that are giving you trouble before they take up too much of your time. So here's an idea on just how much time you should be spending on each question. For the English section, you should spend less than 30 seconds on each question. For the math section, one minute. And then for the reading and science section, 45 seconds. As a rule of thumb, if you're not getting close to figuring out a question after 30 seconds of looking at it, you should move on. But whatever you do, make sure you fill in every bubble, no matter what. There's no penalty for guessing on the ACT, so you should fill in every answer. Thanks, Maddie. And one last reminder for seniors that your senior wills, memories, song dedications are due at the end of the day today. Forms are available in the office if you need one. Here's Jared with more club news and announcements. Thanks, Tanner. SkillsUSA is collecting gently worn shoes as a fundraiser for the upcoming state and national trips. Tennis shoes, sandals, flip-flops, and boots are all acceptable as long as they don't have any tears and the sole is not torn. The shoes will be used to help businesses in underdeveloped countries like Ghana. They can be dropped off at the Career Center up until May 5th. Beta Club is looking for new officers for next year. If you'd like to run for a Beta Club officer position, please pick up an application in the counseling office. Applications must be completed by April 5th and the officers will be elected in the meeting on April 12th. Yearbooks are still available if you haven't purchased one yet. Orders will be taken until April 28th See any yearbook staff members or Mr. Donnell at their career center if you'd like to purchase one. And here's Devlin for this week's sports. Thanks. The baseball team started their week off with a game here at home Tuesday against South Pemiscott. Victor Cage took the mound for the Dons and pitched a complete game. The Dons won that game by a score of 5-1. to one. Yesterday, the Dons played Twin Rivers here at home, and here's the score of that game. The softball team had a game last Friday at Dexter, and this one took extra innings to finish. In the end, the Donnets lost the game by a score of 6-5. Their game at Neelyville on Tuesday was canceled because of weather. They also played Twin Rivers yesterday, and here's the score of that game. Next week, both the Dons and Donnets will travel to Clearwater on Tuesday. On Thursday, the Dons have a game at Naylor, and then on Friday, the Dons play at Bloomfield. That's this week's sports. Here's Lexi with your weekend weather forecast. This weekend is looking halfway decent with partly sunny skies on Saturday and a high of 65. Sunday, the chance of rain and thunderstorms returns, the high reaching 70. And then more rain and thunderstorms on Monday with a high of 64. That's our newscast for this week. We'll see you guys again in three weeks. Have a great weekend.